You know what time it is. It is what it is. Your boy Musa back at it again though. Today's video reaction is on um, six black men versus one secret white guy. We gotta check it out, man. And we're gonna see because I believe they're gonna present us six black men, and we're gonna have to figure out which one is the white guy. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not. I'm definitely sure they're gonna make this harder. You feel know I me? Mean? But anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video reaction, take a few seconds, subscribe, comment, like, and share, and click the notification bell. And join the family. All is welcome. Shoe love, shoe support. Let's get it. I'm black. I'm black. I'm black. I'm black. I'm black. I'm black. I'm white. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. If that dude is the white dude, then that's kind of uh, what, what's the point of this experiment? Because that's kind of obvious, right? But then again, there have been white people who are black. Who are black, but they came out white. You know what I'm saying? They were born white. So, I don't know. He might be black. Who knows? Who knows? He probably might have 80% black gene in him. Or you know what I'm saying? Oh, pause. But, <laughs> I'm just saying, man. Y'all know what I mean, bro. Okay, for sure. Now, uh, one quick question I gotta ask. Are there any other, like, Africans or anybody with, like, any, like, Afrocentric ethnicities? My dad has Nigerian in him. Uh, what tribe? Do you know what tribe? Actually, I don't, but my mom's Ashkenazi Russian Jew, and then my dad's literally, like, a mutt. He got Nigerian all the way from Asian to... He's literally mixed with everything. Okay, for sure, for sure. Uh, anyone else? Nope, just black. Yeah, I got nicknames. Well, and Rosebud is actually my street, mate, my street name. My real name's Riley. My name is Fitzgerald. That's like the full first name, but then Fitz is like... Wait, wait, wait. They're all blind, blindfold, and they got to figure which one of them is white among themselves. I thought I, this was going to be more of like, we got to figure out which one is white. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm guessing probably that's how they're doing it. The nickname people call me by. They do Fitzy. Yeah, sometimes they do Fitzy. Sometimes they be doing Fitzy. I think my strategy was to kind of uh, just just be black. I'm not gonna lie, when you said Fitz, I thought it was because you had tough Fitz on, you know what I mean? <laughs> no, I, was like, I, too, I too. You can't even you see him. what you're talking about, that, bro. That too. <laughs> I mean, if you could see, you'd probably be able to tell that I got a tough fit on. You that wasn't even that's funny. Cool. Can we all say what we're wearing and everything? I got a skeleton all red, varsity jacket, cargo bro, pants you know on the side. What's up? We matching right now. I'm not wearing the skeleton fit, but I got like red. You got Air Forces on? I got Air Forces on. <laughs> no, you can't lie, you you from I the wish East? I could doubt you up right now. <laughs> I wish I I feel like every black person owes, owes uh, a white Air Force, man, for real. I own one. Even all my friends own one. So it's, it's like, every, I, that's why I, every black person owns Air Force, man. Like, if you don't own one, I don't know, man. I could dap you up right now, but wait, what type forces y'all got on? So I got the Air Force ones with like the little black stripe on it. Okay, yeah, half, oh, that's half dope. black, half white. You feel right. Oh, I see where you're going. You said I didn't say half black, half okay. white. Black, half white, you feel me? No cap, I used to wear some Pumas that were uh, half black and half white because okay. of that my whole life. Well, my strategy for today that was, smooth, was to was figure smooth. out who's safe rather than figure out who's the mole right off the bat. Who's one of the brothers? You feel me? Who here? knows what the smell of a hot comb on a head. It stink. It stink real bad. <laughs> what are some prominent songs that you're going to hear at a family reunion? Oh, they played a lot of blues. Marvin C, Bobby Blue Bland. Then when they got drunker, it was Tupac. And <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Why is the white guy sounds a little black? <laughs> Bro, and he knows all these songs? If I was saying, it's going to be hard for me to figure out which one was black, right? Which one was white? <laughs> Because he, he's mentioned on his names, bro. He know all these artists. You know what I'm saying? On top of that, his voice is like, it doesn't sound white, though. I don't know. Do, do, do they have white voice and black voice? I don't know, man. <laughs> his vocal inflections, like it just, it kind of made, made me think of, you know, straight out of Compton, the movie. Maybe it felt too black, you know, for a second. <laughs> Yeah, I grew up on classic rock from my mom's side, and then I grew up on most- Wait, wait, what is too black? <laughs> what is that? I didn't know there was a thing called too black. <laughs> Town from my dad's side, so anytime, you know, summer vacation in the backyard with my nana, she'd be playing all Motown. My pop-up and nana be dancing, slow dancing to it, you know? <laughs> yeah, Telling them, stick your ass down, yeah. <laughs> Did you know a birth control pill doesn't need estrogen to prevent pregnancy? Slind birth control. Hey, 
everyone has one person that's suspicious of them. So we know where, basically. <laughs> yeah, we made it. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to start off with a theme song. You finish it. We're brothers. We're, we're happy and, and we're singing and we're, we're colored. colored. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, I okay, like that. <laughs> <laughs> Me growing up half black, half white, there's certain songs that they sang that I honestly didn't know word by word what to, what to say. In the movie ATL, Rashad was running his daddy's house since what age? It's a famous line, y'all. You gotta know that. I ain't gonna cap. I ain't even know the answer to that one. Bro, how I don't, I don't even know that, bro. I don't even know that. <laughs> I don't even know that. Because <laughs> if I was standing, I would say he's white. Because <laughs> if he know that, he would. I will say that, bro. Because I, I don't even know that. You feel me? I seen that show, but I ain't know that, man. Mm. Shit. <laughs> complete this song. Uh, that boy got. Stretch pants. Stretch pants. What is that? I got one, I got one. Anybody know what it is when you say you put your foot in something? Mm -hmm. yeah. To cook yeah. it real good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Me and your mama we... whipping it up. Mm -hmm. okay. food okay. snack. Yeah. I was listening so intently on, on voices, because you ever been on the phone with like telemarketer? You can tell us a black person on the other side, so you throw out little hints, you know, while you're talking, and like, oh yeah, we cool. I was trying to catch that. Call and response. Won't he do it? Yes, Won't he will. Who, who said that? Brevin. Jay. I'm suspicious of everybody else over here. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> now, all black people don't go to church now. But they know this. This is true. What flavor of Kool-Aid was y'all favorite growing up? Red. 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 I like gray. You mean purple? Yeah, that's kind of suspicious. That's most us right there. You said gray. Because where I'm from, where I'm from, we go by colors. We don't go by, we don't go by that. What yeah, you just yeah. said. Wait, wait, but hold up. Why is that crazy? Because gray. But wait, wait, wait. He's missed though. So, not nah, really. To be honest, with you, I used to say grape. I never said purple, man. You get what I'm saying? So the, to me, that's not suspicious, bro. That's not suspicious. Because hey, I, who, I don't know who said color. Like I don't say purple color. Let me get a purple color now, bro. Like let me get a fruit punch. Let me get a grape. You know what I'm saying? Let me get the orange flavor. You know. Actually, we do use the color. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Grape and purple are exactly the same thing. I mean, we used to call we used to call Welch's grape soda. I don't know. It's just where I'm from. We go by colors. We go by colors. Grape Kool-Aid, not purple. Mm. Red flag. He was trying to come at me about the grape, but honestly, that I, I grew up with a bunch of friends, and we all called it that in Harlem. How you make your Kool-Aid? You pour the sugar to the ancestors, say stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. In the summers, it was either if you were outside or inside, you had to pick, right? Like yeah, it wasn't no running in and running up and up and inside your house, you know. So y'all y'all feel that? Or? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Don't let that good air out. <laughs> <laughs> when it comes to black women from the 90s, who do you think of off of it? Be along. I'm gonna say Holly Berry. Damn. Oh. I'm gonna say, uh, 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 ah, shit, what's her name? Ra she was a rapper. Um, wow, what's her name? Rap City. Jada Pinkett. Or the sister from. Wait, you can't take two, dog. Man, you taking forever. Goodness, somebody gotta help me out with this. Shotty from like Black Panther. Who was the queen? You feel me? Yeah, I know her name, but yeah. you gotta know Angela her. Bassett. Oh, Angela Bassett. Bassett. Oh, there we go. go. Okay. There we go. Well, I, I think a, a, a Whitley from a different world. I can't remember her name. Old girl from a different world. Hmm. Growing up, watching my sisters Raven Simone, Tyra Banks from that runway show. Um, is that 90s? Tyra's from the 90s. I was sitting back watching them being like, sheesh. You know Wait, wait, how come the white dude didn't talk, man? He stayed real quiet because I would have been suspicious with all him. You feel me? I would have really been suspicious. I would have been like, why he ain't respond? Why he ain't saying nothing? You know what I'm saying? Appreciate y'all. <laughs> <laughs> My homeboy was matching with is gone now, bro. Why? When it comes to being black men, microaggressions, let's talk about it. I got you right here, man. I went to a PWI. Man, I be chilling in the corner. There's only 5% of us, but somehow they find a way to take a picture of you for the, for the dang for the life. Diversity. For, the, for the diversity, right? I'm like, Bro. they're only 5%. I got to give them credit, though, because like finding us, 
it's gonna be a little bit tough, but like they, they found a way regardless. I ain't even gonna lie, Loke. I'm I'm real lost. We from the streets. I ain't even get that far, like college and stuff like that. Hey, we all got a different journey. That's cool. Yeah. yeah it's like the low key racist thing. Yeah. Like, not like you're so well spoken. Wow. Why wouldn't I be? I'm a oh, grown man. Black guy. Yo. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it 100, man. This white dude's really selling being black for real. That voice, he got that deep voice, that slang in between. And them brothers can't even tell, bro. That clearly state, man. He probably grew around black folks, man. For real. He probably grew around black folks. He's got black friends and whatnot. You feel me? And they show him the lingua, man. You feel me? They gave him that extra sauce. Because some reason, he's definitely flying under the radar. They couldn't even tell. You're so well spoken. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You peep game, you walk down the street, right? And Ooh. a white folks see you, the first thing they do when they see you or acknowledge you, they fold their lips like and nod their head down, mm -hmm. make that weird or face. Or they give you, you hella space on the sidewalk or even step in the street. Yo. Or clutch their bag. Clutch their purse. Yeah. Microaggression. Clutch like, the bag. Or take the next elevator. Yes. Mm -hmm. All of that. All of that. Hella room in the elevator, too. Stare at you like, you ain't supposed to be here. What, what was one of y'all favorite movies growing up? You feel me? Like, Loving Basketball, Don't Be a Menace. I mean, which, what did y'all watch? I like New Jack City. Like, that was all right. You from New York, yeah, bro. Dude. So you already uh, know. Like, I am my brother's keeper, and that's some real shit, so. I'll tell you what, man. I watched the uh, the first Power Rangers movie, like, twice a day for, like, the first four years after it came out, man. Power Rangers? Yeah. Power Rangers. <laughs> what season? What season? Oh, oh Mighty Morphin. Oh, Mighty Morphin. Facts. Facts. Power is hard. It is. I watch, I watch anime, too. Oh, wait. Oh, you yeah. watch anime? Uh, what, sure what you do? What you like? What you like? I can talk about for shows and gateway. Y'all, Naruto. Come on, like. Dragon Ball Z was dope. Dragon Ball Z was dope. Dragon Ball Z was like one of my first animation I saw, anime I started watching, right? Naruto Shippuden was good, and Naruto itself was good. Burrito was just, I'm going to say it was trash, bro. On some real, they need to just delete that from the Naruto universe. For real, Burrito. I don't care what y'all say, man. That needs to be taken out. Don't laugh at me, but I love the Disney Channel originals, you know what I'm saying? Oh, oh no, no, that was good. Hey, hey, watch let it shine. You know Let's I mean? watch the Disney Channel. Boy. Y'all know about that static shot, though. Come on. I was static literally shot. just about to say. You know what I'm saying? Superhero static, static shot. Woohoo! I met his voice actor, bro. He was, you uh, did? Feel my dude is cold. Dope, bro. Wait, he voices every single black, every single black, every And single Samurai black. Jack. He yeah, he's got yeah. range, bro. Yeah. He's got range. All right, I got a question because I feel like we just going to be be like... We're going to be vibing, man. Yeah. Too much, yeah, right? I got y'all after this. <laughs> Even if you white, we got to tap in. For real. <laughs> hey, you have to... Yeah, nah. you be like... But, uh, okay, so... Hmm. Why does that bother you? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't have to point that out, bro. Okay, so... In, in... Yeah, homo be throwing shades like crazy. Maybe throwing that little sneaky little jab, yo. <laughs> he be getting homes with it, bro. Regards to dating and whatnot, my first girlfriend, she ended up being uh, a Russian girl, and my dad was, he, he always used to throw hints like, hey man, you know, she's nice and all that stuff, and like, he, wouldn't, he would never say it, but I knew like, the upbringing he had, he dealt with a lot of racism and stuff, so he kind of had like the hesitance mm -hmm. for like those type of relationships. Did your parents or, you know, family members like say, hey, like, I mean, my mother was from Shreveport, so, you know, she used to be on that. Um, and she was older when she had me. She was already, like, in her late 50s, so okay. she wasn't playing with none of that, really. I don't think my parents ever put... They just want me to love who I love. Uh, to me, it, I would probably... I would probably say that he white, you know what I'm saying, if I was staying there, because why? Because most white people I've noticed, you know what I'm saying, end up having kids... Um, at an older age, you know what I'm saying? They always like, based on my personal experience, this is my personal op opinion, you know what I'm saying? But, but And plus my personal experience. Most of the white folks that I know, or people I've met that I came in contact with and whatnot, most of them when they have kids, they're in the you know, 40s or going from the 30s to the 40s and 50s, you know what I'm saying? Just sometimes you know, you might think like they're the grandparent, but they're actually the parent, you know what I'm saying? That would have gave me a kind of like, the moment he stayed there, I would have been like, uh, you feel me? That would have made me question because it's kind of crazy how nobody questioned how for response. But I understand why they didn't respond. Be, they didn't question that because he actually been answering a lot of them question right. You know what I'm saying? And he's, with his voice, he's able to fly under the radar based on his response and songs and names is dropping. 
a black man should know that. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, I think there's always that underlying, like, you know, we would love for it to be a black woman. You know what I mean? Yeah. It was actually the same for me. They never said, don't bring a, a white girl home or anything like that. But I definitely know how it would make them feel if I was to bring home a sister, for sure. Like, oh, shoot. Like, you're, you're with somebody who understands you. Right. Who can understand what you go through in life as That's a black facts. man on the day-to-day-to-day basis. From the microaggressions to the ridiculous racism in your face. My people were cool or whatever. Like, I'm cool or whatever, too. But, like... I appreciate a sister, like, because she understands me and I don't have to explain myself. That's facts, though. That's facts. I like that. I like that. I like that. You feel me? And he's right, though, because, like, when you bring the sister home, you know, it's like family. It's like, it's smooth. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? But when you bring the opposite race, sometimes you got to explain situation. All, you know, it's kind of like, in the beginning, kind of a little awkward, but down the line you feel me it's smooth you know what i'm saying it, it's all based on you know how your parents is you know and what i mean who cares nowadays man it is what it is <laughs> we have a tie between rob and brevin Y'all yeah, hit that side of relief. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm Brevin. I'm from Louisville, Kentucky, like I said. Um, I didn't have a traditional like upbringing as far as like dating um, a lot of different people because I am a queer black man, but it took me a long time to get there. Um, but as far as home life, I had uh, two parents, uh, two older brothers, a little sister, um, super close. Yeah, um, this is hard. I don't know. I'm black, y'all. I'm black. <laughs> <laughs> My name I'm black, y'all. <laughs> Nah, bro, because I would probably be like, nah, he white. He talking too clean, bro. He talking too clean. It's too clean, bro. He a black man. I ain't hear no slime. I ain't hear no lie. You feel me? I hear the black sauce, man. It's too clean, too smooth. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, reaction, until you feel can subscribe, comment, like, and share. Click the notification bell and join the family. All is welcome. She loves your support, yo. Robert, I go by Rob. I'm from South Central LA. We bounced all around. Uh, it was just me and my mother, three sisters, and two brothers. I've been in and out the streets, uh, not too much school, and that's pretty much it. When it came to Brevin, it seemed like he was privileged, and I relate more to struggle. Hearing some of the things he was saying, it kind of like made me think and like second guess. In my brain, I was like, this is probably just like one of those cases where he could be white and he's just a product of his environment. Brevin, you can't vote. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Oh, hands on, bro. Hands on. He right, though. I mean, he right if he's talking about a white dude, man. Because like, it could be a product of his environment. You know what I'm saying? Like, your environment does influence your behavior or who you are at times. You know what I'm saying? Most of the time, it influences you, so... <laughs> hey, hey, I'm I'm hey, I appreciate the try, bro. <laughs> it looks like himself. we are tied again. Wow, what? I voted for Rob just because I think I heard everyone else speak a little bit more. I also voted Rob. First of all, you know, I, I'm just going to say that, like, the environment he grew up in, you know what I'm saying? I think that, like, you know, that's just a case where he could, like, relate to a lot of, like, black people's struggles. You feel me? Mm. Uh, but he might not be, like, black in and of himself. I voted for Brevin to get out. Um, not because Brevin necessarily said anything bad, but it was more so because of when Rob was talking, I felt like I was listening to one of my cousins talk. Um, and he definitely sounds like he's from South Central for sure. <laughs> That's crazy, bro. That's crazy. That's all I'm saying. Like, bro, it's flying under the radar, bro. Like, just the way he talked, man. Because if I was staying out, it would have been hard for me to, like, figure out like whether he was white or whether he was black because i would be confused because like i said the all the stuff he was saying all the other stuff he didn't say kind of made me question a little bit you know what i'm saying but then the more he talks it's kind of like ugh, it, it kind of dilute your your train of thought man not a whole lot of white people down there so i'm gonna say he stays rob black that's it yeah <laughs> <laughs> no that's the fact rob black he yeah. sound like people from around my way so he no offense to you, Brendan, but, but you got to kick I rocks. <laughs> I, I, I hear it in Brendan's voice, sure. too, though. Like, that's the thing. I hear it in yeah, both. I hear it, yeah. for sure. Bro. But Rob, like, I feel like I could say certain things to Rob, and yeah. he pick up on it quick. If I say something 
certain things to the other, it's like, is you gonna really relate or? Yeah, yeah. you know, I no think that, what but, does hit a lick mean? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, man, I don't know what hit a lick me. <laughs> so what's hit a lick me? Oh my God, bro. <sighs> Take me away. Yeah, Rob <laughs> sound like he know good catfish. I'm not sure why I got voted out. I feel that a lot of times I've felt that I'm too white for the black people and too black for the white people. Yeah, that's crazy though. He said sometimes he feel like he's too white for the white people, he's too black for the black people. Bro, stay in your lane, man. It is what it is, man. Create your own vibe, yo. That's what I'm a sack. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I think the mole is still in the box and you want to continue playing the game. Raise your hand. No, stop! What are you doing? 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 I knew I wasn't gonna get eliminated. Um, Why is that? I don't know. I just came in like I was gonna win. Really, I already said I was gonna win. So. Anybody else got a question? Oh, yeah. All right, so let's make things a little bit spicy, you feel me? What's like one critique and or what's one thing that you think like black people could be like doing better in? Or like a hot take about like black people in? you know, our community and stuff like that. Since the beginning of the U.S., um, with the obvious mistreatment of black people, a lot of information pertaining to being able to further us as a people has been withheld from us. And more so recently, the information has been normalized to be pushed out, and this generation is really doing a lot to make sure that we are as gamed up as possible with all the tax information, with all that stuff, so we can no longer have those continuing circumstances of not having the information to be able to financially evolve as a people. And I think that's dope. But I also think that people need to really be on their P's and Q's with that stuff because the more we sit around and don't go after this information, the more our situation continues to remain the same. I get what he's saying, but damn, it's long freaking response, bro. I would have said, man, equal opportunity in financial or financial investment. You know what I'm saying? Because when you go to the banks, Let's say a white person go to the bank or a black person go to the bank. They get different kind of treatment. You feel me? A white man get a better treatment than a black man. You know what I'm saying? What I say is the financial aspect need improvement. And also, like, the police encounter need improvement. That need a change. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? Like, the cops and black community got to have a better relationship. That's, like, the main thing I think that needs to be changed. You feel me? That needs to get better. You feel me? Because we do need cops, 100%. But we also want the relationship to improve and get better. You feel me? That when a cop pop in your neighborhood, you feel comfortable enough to approach the cop, have a general conversation with a cop, or whether you're in trouble, would be you feel comfortable enough to call the cop for assistance. You know what I'm saying? And that's what, what my response would have been. And financially, even though we spend some of the most money in the U.S., it never stays within the black community. The gang banger. That's facts. That's facts. We do spend a lot of money where it don't stay in the black community. That's 100% facts. Yeah. That got to stop. Elaborate on that. Or it's, just, it's no point of game banging no more. I mean, mm. uh, if you think about it, you game banging. Uh, and then it got so bad where, you, you know, everybody that run black in prison is together. Even if you from the enemy side, the op side or anything. So if you go to prison, so if I if I supposed to game bang, shoot somebody, and if I get caught and I gotta go to prison and get along with the people who I just slid on, it, just, it don't make no sense. And there's no money involved. Yeah, he's right. <laughs> he right. I would have just said police brutality right there, man. That's what I would have said, bro. That's what would I say. I would have said many of my friends got search and seizure and all that stuff. Like, bro. You talk about game banging, need to be getting better when you go to prison, the finance. It's like he didn't even know what the hell he was talking about, bro. That's 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 not a good response. They should know at this point he's white. Mm, I feel that. Mm. So it's just it's that's that's the first thing gotta go. Don't be so quick to buy Gucci, Prada, Louis. Like, mm. I mean I'm not one to speak myself. I got Ricks and Suvi on, but at the same time, like 
if one of the homies has a brand, you should be going to go buy that, you know? I feel like uh, a critique is just, uh, my little brother is, uh, he's at a HBCU, a small one in Oklahoma, and uh, nothing against like the school or anything of the people who's around, but I feel like the ideas and, uh, and like the mindsets that he's been around from his, uh, you know, early childhood and whatnot, because uh, have been just like not open-minded to new possibilities, opportunities, are out there, we just got, you know, open-minded to it and try to figure out what works for us, you know? This might be on the fault of like the media, mm -hmm. but I think sometimes we over-sensationalize like our pain. And I think that there's so much more to like the black community, whether it's joy or like having a good laugh or something, like there's just so much more to us than like, you know, the pain that we go through. And I think that needs to be, you know, shown more in like our movies, our TV shows, just like the way we talk about, like the way we talk about things. Like, I think that there's just so much more to the black community than that. I wanna... That's facts. That's facts. I agree with it 100%. That is facts, so for real. And I think that there's so much more to like, just are out there. We just got, you know, open-minded to it and try to figure out what works for us, you know? This might be on the fault of like the media, but I think sometimes we over sensationalize like our pain. And I think that there's so much more to like the black community, whether it's joy or like having a good laugh or something, like there's just so much more to us than like, you know, the pain that we go through. And I think that needs to be, you know, shown more in like our movies, our TV shows, just like Facts. the way we talk about, like the way we talk about things. Like I think that there's just so much more to the black that's, community than that. I want to see black that's people facts. doing goofy stuff on screen, not just being slaves, you know? Right. Come on now, talk about it. Or criminals or, or, yeah. or, yeah. or they're gangsters yeah. or killers. No, that's not yeah. even like a thing for America, but like you go to China, you go to like some of these other- That's facts. He's speaking facts right there though. Other places, like that's all they go. see of us. You feel yeah. me? Yeah. Word. Y'all gonna be real? Yeah. I think we're all good, bro. Same. Sorry, Gabriel. You know what I'm saying? It happens. Come on, over here. If you think the mole is still in the box and you'd like to continue the game, raise your hand. All right, so that's unanimous. We're gonna end the game right then and there, okay? If the lights turn green, that means you voted the mole out and you all win. If the lights turn red, that means the mole is still in the box and you all lose. The thought popped in my head of, what if you had it wrong the whole time and the guy right next to you is the one? Three, two, one. It is red. That means the mole is still here. <laughs> How ironic is this, bro? Oh my God, bro. You black and couldn't even figure out who's black. <laughs> this is crazy, man. I think I would have had it wrong too, bro. Like for real, the way he been talking, man. I, I, he numbed my suspicion. Like, I, if I was staying there, I would not think that, you know, he white, bro. Like, I would have questioned it a couple times, but still, like, you know. You guys can lift your blindfolds in three, <laughs> two, one. What? This is hold on, hold on, wait, wait, wait. Rob. That's Rob. That's Rob. I'm Brevin. Brevin? Yo, what's up? Brevin. Yo. What's up, yo? Big up to you, yo. Big up to you. Hey, yo. Of course, there's been like a couple white boys who cool, but like, not like Rob. Like, that was different. My name is Robert, but uh, they call me Milk. I'm from South Central. Uh, I got adopted at seven days old as a baby, like out the hospital to a, uh, a black mother. So I was raised with her ever since seven days old. That's crazy. <laughs> My whole family is black. I didn't even know the other, I never met the other oh, people until I was like, that's dope. grown, grown. That's real. My, my upbringing was a little strange. I was the only white kid at every party, every birthday. But I, I mean, that's dope, man. I mean, listen, man, you have been blessed with a whole new culture. You know what I'm saying? The best, I mean, I'm gonna say that, but I would say, you know, you being blessed with new culture, man. You feel me? Just gotta love that, man. It's a beautiful culture as well, too. I never really, that never really like bothered me, I guess. Is it hard for you to fit in with white people? 
Oh, it was. It's getting a little better. Huh. What about for black people then? Is it easier or is it more difficult to get along with black nah, people? Nah, nah, nah. I mean, that's all I was around my whole life. Right. Jail, yeah. county yeah. jail, juvenile yeah. hall, every yeah. party, yeah. everything. And your whole family, like, they just all accept you because I got sides of my white family that, like, they wouldn't even hold me as a baby because I had a black dad. Nah, nah, hell nah. Mm-hmm. Nah, I had a good family. Since my mom married a black man, they sat shibbets for her, which basically in the Jewish community means that you're dead to me. And it's almost, um, lone feeling that you get sometimes when you feel like you can't relate to anybody. I was like the baby, low-key, like the youngest one. Wow. Damn, that's crazy. What is a misconception people have about black men? Put us in a, in a box that basically states that we're always angry or mad. There's a lot of happy black folk in the world. Like, me personally, I'm happy. We're not as monolithic as a lot of people would make us out to be. We are bankers, we're lawyers, we're doctors. We all originated from Africa. We all, because you're further away from the equator, it doesn't matter. Black is beautiful. That's facts, that's facts, and this is the best spot to end this video at, though. But guys, comment below. Let me know what you guys think, man. Would you guys f- feel like uh, if y'all were there, you, you would have been able to figure out who was black and who was white? You want to send comment below, man. Let me know what you guys think about this video so far, though. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video reaction, take a few seconds, subscribe, comment, like, and share, and click the notification bell. And join the family. Always welcome. Sure love. Sure support. Musa.